This video is about division of polynomials by long division method. For the division of polynomials, or what we call the long division method of polynomial expression, if p of x and d of x are polynomials with d of x is not equal to 0, wherein p of x is our dividend and d of x is our divisor, the divisor is not equal to 0, we can write it in this form. P of x over d of x is equal to q of x where q means the quotient plus r of x r means the remainder over d of x or we can also rewrite it in this form p of x is equal to q of x times d of x plus r of x where r of x is either zero or its degree is less than the degree of d of x when we say degree that is the exponent of the given or the highest exponent of the given polynomial if r of x is equal to zero means our remainder is zero then we can say that the divisor, or d of x, is a factor of the dividend of p of x. Let's have this example. Divide x squared minus 4x plus 5 by x plus 2. So our dividend is x squared minus 4x plus 5. Put it here inside the division symbol and the divisor x plus 2 on the left side. First step is to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. x squared divided by x is equal to x. Then multiply x times x, x squared, and x times 2, positive 2x. Then subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend so that we can cancel the first term. x squared minus x squared is a 0. Negative 4x minus 2x is equal to negative 6x. Bring down the next term, positive 5. Same process. The first term of the partial dividend is negative 6x divided by x. The result is negative 6. So that negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And negative 6 times 2 will be negative 12. Change the sign of the subtrahend again. Then cancel the first term of the partial dividend and its subtrahend, 5 plus 12 is equal now to 17. So since the degree of this is less than the degree of our divisor, then we call it now the remainder. To write it in this form, the final answer now is x minus 6, our quotient, plus 17, our uh, remainder, over our divisor x plus 2. So x minus 6 plus 17 over x plus 2. Okay, next example. Divide 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 17x minus 12 by x plus 5. Mm, let us check if the exponents is in decreasing order. 2x to the power of 3 plus 7x to the power of 2 minus 17x to the power of 1 minus 12x to the power of 0. So it is in the descending order. So we can proceed now to the division. So 2x cubed divided by x. The answer is 2x squared. 2x squared times x. 2x squared times x is equal to 2x cubed. 2x squared times 5 is equal to 10x squared. Proceed to subtraction, change the subtrahend, cancel this one since 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. Then add this one, 7 minus 10x, uh, 7x squared minus 10x squared is negative 3x squared. Bring down the next term. Divide this one by the first term again. So that would be negative 3x. Negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. And negative 3x times 5 is negative 15x. Subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. This one will be cancelled. And this will be added. Negative 17 plus 15. The answer is negative 2x. Bring down the next term, negative 12. Let's repeat the process. Negative 2x divided by x is negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend to cancel the first term. We have this um, negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2. Therefore, negative 2 is our remainder. Final answer in this form, this will be our quotient. 
2x squared minus 3x minus 2 minus 2, our remainder, over the divisor x plus 5. So this will be the final answer. Next example, divide x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3 by x minus 5. So check if our dividend is in decreasing order of power. 3, power of 2, power of 1 is missing. So we have to fill in. So 0x raised to 1. Therefore, we have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 0x, since it is a missing term, multiplying by 0 will not affect the dividend, the given, so plus 3. Then our divisor is x minus 5. The same process, first term divided by the first term, we have x squared. x squared times x is x raised to 3. x squared times negative 5 is negative 5 x squared. Then subtract, cancel. This will be added, negative 6 plus 5, that is uh, negative 1. So we have the variable here, here x, negative x squared. Bring down the next term, plus 0x. Divide the first by the first again. Negative x squared divided by x is negative x. x times x. So negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times negative 5 is positive 5x. Proceed to subtraction. Change the sign of the subtrahend. We cancel this one. Then add this one, negative 5x. Bring down the next term. Divide the first by the first term. Negative 5x divided by x is negative 5. Times x, negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 5, at positive uh, 25. Subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. We have, cancel this one. 3 plus negative 25 is negative 22. We'll write it in this form. This will be our quotient. This will be our remainder. And this is our divisor. Final answer, x squared minus x minus 5 minus, since negative remainder, negative 22, negative 22 over x minus 5. Next example. Divide 4x cubed minus 3x plus 1 by 2x minus 1. Check if your div dividend is in decreasing order of power. Power of 3, oops, we don't have power of 2, so there is still a missing term. Power of 1 and power of 0. So we write this with complete terms. We have 4x cubed plus 0x squared, since we don't have x squared here. Minus 3x plus 1. It is in decreasing order of exponent. 3, 2, 1, 0. The divisor is 2x minus 1. Same procedure. First term divided by the first term is 4x cubed divided by 2x. The answer is 2x squared. 2x squared times 2x is 4x cubed. 2x squared times negative 1 is negative 2x squared. Subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. Cancel this one and add this one. The answer will be 2x squared. Bring down the next term, negative 3x. 2x squared divided by 2x. The answer is, this is there, x. So that x times 2x is 2x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. Cancel this one. We have negative 3x plus x. The answer is negative 2x. Bring down the next term. Negative 2x divided by 2x is negative 1. Negative 1 times the divisor is 2x plus 1. Then, subtract. Change sign of the subtrahend. Cancel this one. Then, positive 1 and negative 1, when we add this, it will result to 0. In this case, we don't have remainder. So therefore, the final answer is, as is, 2x squared plus x minus 1. Okay. Next example. Divide 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 by 3x plus 2. Make sure that we don't have missing terms. Power of 3, power of 2, power of 1, power of 0. So perfect. Divide 3x cubed by 3x. The answer is x squared. x squared times 3x is 3x cubed. x squared times 2, 2x squared. Next step. Subtract. Cancel this one. Then add this. We have... Oh, 0. Since positive and negative 2 when added is nothing. So 0. x squared. Bring down the next term, negative 3x. Still, divide this one by the first term. So since 0 divided by any number is 0, the answer is 0x. Zero 0x zero times everything is 0. So subtract. We have negative 3x. 
bring down the next term, positive 5. Negative 3x divided by 3x is negative 1. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. We have cancel, and then this is 5 plus 2, 7. 7 now is our remainder. So for the final answer, in this form, since 0x here means nothing, the final answer will now be equal to x squared minus 1 plus the remainder 7 over 3x plus 2. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye!